When it comes to weight loss in pregnancy with diabetes, is it a risky gamble or a beneficial bet? That is today's debate in diabetes, and we have got both viewpoints here at the table today. Thanks to you both for being here. Thank you. Dr. Kimberly Vesper, I want to get started with you. We are talking about patients that are already struggling with obesity that then become pregnant and decide they might want to try to lose weight, correct? That's right. And I think the concern for these patients is we don't yet know how much weight loss could be safe in pregnancy or if weight loss could be safe in pregnancy. And they may try to achieve weight loss by reducing their dietary intake, which then could reduce um, energy to the growing fetus and then displace important nutrients that they would normally have in their diet, important vitamins and other things like carbohydrate and protein. Dr. Claire Meek, how, how beneficial could a little bit of weight loss be in pregnancy? So I think we feel that actually with rising levels of obesity within the maternity population, now is a really good time to be reevaluating what we recommend in clinic. So we found in our recent trial that two to three kilograms of weight loss was beneficial in women with gestational diabetes. That's a type of diabetes that develops in pregnancy and usually resolves after the delivery. And are we talking about the benefits just to the mother or are there also benefits to the fetus if a mom loses weight? Yeah, so there were benefits to the mother. It's a very quick way of improving glucose levels, but there were also key benefits to the baby, including a more healthy size of birth. So, Dr. Vesco, what would be risky to the mother and the fetus if they decide to try to achieve weight loss while pregnant? Um, for the, the mother, there could be, if they have dramatic weight loss impacts on their body, for example, their skeletal muscle, as they lose muscle as well as fat mass when they lose weight, that can impact their resting metabolic rate, their exercise capacity. Um, it could affect their cardiac muscle, which could also affect their um, cardiac capacity and ability to exercise. Dr. Me, I want to ask you, um, because you do see you know, that this could be beneficial, but what about if a woman is trying to lose weight while pregnant, the, the concern that they might adopt unhealthy measures or go to extreme measures in order to do so. Yeah, so I think pregnancy is not the time for extreme measures. And I think in general, we would really encourage women to be eating a really high quality diet with plenty of vegetables, lots of lean protein, and careful choices in terms of low glycemic index carbohydrates, so whole meal foods. Uh, we think that actually provided that women can do that, then there is a good reason uh, to believe that cautious amounts of weight loss could be really beneficial in women with obesity, both to them and to their babies. Do you worry though about if they see a little bit of weight loss, then the maybe trying to adopt some of those more extreme measures to see even more significant weight loss? So I think that's possible, but I think actually in general, women are, are cautious during pregnancy and women generally are motivated largely about the desire to have a healthy baby and a healthy pregnancy. Uh, but I think the messaging around weight loss is really important and it's important that there's also good support from healthcare professionals to enable women to do that safely. Dr. Vesco, is there any circumstance where as a physician you would recommend um, someone who's pregnant attempting weight loss or would you say, let's have a healthy baby, hold off until postpartum? You know, it's an interesting question as Dr. Meek and I have both seen our patients get a diabetes diagnosis in pregnancy and make these like remarkable diet and lifestyle changes increase their exercise and actually stop gaining weight or even lose weight in pregnancy and it seems to be a healthy weight change in response to these healthy um, lifestyle and diet changes that they're making but it's hard from a scientific standpoint to say there's any specific amount of weight loss that is um, safe. Your, your thoughts on that? So my counter would be that actually we know that excessive weight gain in pregnancy is dangerous for mothers and babies. And actually, I would like to see more of a focus on preventing excessive gestational weight gain uh, rather than uh, extreme fear of minor weight loss in pregnancy. And of course, every pregnant woman should talk with their doctor for their own individualized plan. Absolutely, and I think it's also important that women have choice in pregnancy over what they eat and what their, their key um, I suppose priorities are for their own health and that of their baby. Right, well, our thanks to you both today for this debate, appreciate it. Good, thank you. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.